Okay, what is up everyone? So today we're continuing on this little Apollo and where we left off yesterday was the back brakes. So as I mentioned in the last video, there are no back brakes on this bike and I have started mocking it up a little bit. So I have the, um, I guess is the slave cylinder. I have the slave cylinder here. It just mocked up with two little bolts. I'm probably going to change this out with something better quality before I leave it permanently. So I have that attached there into the factory location. And then I have the brake line routed away from the exhaust. And it's supposed to go along the swing arm. And from there, the caliper is supposed to mount somewhere over here. Now, that's what I've been trying to figure out and from what I assume I have to take the back wheel off so I can attach the caliper in between here and there like sandwich in between um, so if that's the case as you can see that centerpiece is kind of gonna sandwich in like that just a little bit lower and looking at it it looks like it should work just fine and the brake line is long enough for that to happen. So I'm going to lift this bike up now and I'm going to start, I'm not going to take the wheel off completely but I'm just going to start backing this bolt out a little bit so I can get some clearance to stick that caliper in there. Alright so I got the thing jacked up, put a jack underneath the swing arm, I put the stand on a piece of wood. I got it just up enough where the wheel's not touching the ground anymore. Don't need it any higher because I don't need this thing falling. So now I'm going to go grab a socket and a wrench and I'm going to go take that long bolt off. Okay. So it looks like someone rigged this up work without a caliper. So let's see what happens here. Just by a hair, it's not.
Okay. Perfect. It actually fits very snug, exactly how it should. Just so it's roughly in place. Chain is good tension. Just the right amount of slack. Wheel looks straight, lined up properly. And this looks pretty good too. Wow. Actually came out pretty okay. Maybe I can move this caliper back a little bit. Have it mounted like that. And then this should hold it in place. Okay, so I have the rear caliper mounted. I have the slave cylinder mounted. The only thing left to do now is to bleed the back brakes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen up this. I'm gonna kind of shift it out of the way so I can open up this bleeder valve over here. And then I'm just gonna pump it by hand and bleed them really quick. Okay, so the back brakes are bled. They work pretty good. So now I'm gonna take this thing for another test ride. And hopefully they stop while the bike's moving because the front brakes are a little sketchy to use alone. So I took it for a test ride really quick up the street. The brakes work good, but we suffered a slight casualty. Turns out that putty I put on this didn't really hold up to the heat. So, I'm going to redo this, and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld it and make a hanger for it. That way it stays more secure when you're riding. So I guess I'm going to do that now and worry about the rest later because until I do that this thing is way too loud to ride. Alright, so I got the exhaust welded back on. It's kind of rough, I'm going to touch it up later, but it'll work for now. So this bike is complete. Now that everything's done on it, the brakes and the exhaust, and it's not fire damage like it was, I can put it up for sale. I already have a few people hitting me up about it, so this one also, like the SSR, probably isn't gonna last very long, but I will keep you guys updated. So in the next video, we're gonna be working on the Honda, the CRF, we're gonna get this thing rideable again. Doesn't need much, just gotta finish up the wiring, and the carburetor but that's going to be in a separate video so if you like what you saw stay tuned for more thank you for watching leave a like leave a comment subscribe see you in the next one